How's it going everyone? I am back with the video after a few months, but whatever. The new GT update, the contract, has been announced by Rockstar. And these are my picks for upcoming possible vehicles that come in, that could come in the update. And so, most of these picks are based off of the trailer and what we've seen. And also, personal just like ideas and opinions. And it's kind of more so just like a fun little video. And not, nothing from these are actually like, you know, confirmed by Rockstar. These are just my predictions. But maybe I can get lucky and maybe two or three, possibly four of these could be correct. Uh, the last update with the tuners DLC I believe two vehicles that I had right were the uh, s2000 and then maybe something else but let's go ahead and uh, start with the uh, new upcoming vehicles so the uh, the new update seems to be based around high-end vehicles as there is the uh, Tuatara and the Sion from real life being added into the game which are both very high-end hypercars and practically some of the most pretty expensive and elegant looking vehicles out there. So most of these picks are going to be hyper supercars and high-end sports cars. And I do have uh, something that's maybe not in the exact same category, but don't expect anything that's uh, kind of old or anything too boring or simple. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, some of the hyper cars that I've gotten. All right, so for the first car I've got, is the new Lamborghini Countach, uh, basically redesigned from the first Countach from a few decades ago. This is a newer Lamborghini that kind of has some old classic looks to it, but still overall very modern design to it. And I think this will be very well in the game and the update since there is the uh, Sion also coming. But I really like the, uh, the side intake of this car and the wheels on this uh, photo here. But for my next pick I have is the new Aston Martin like Valhalla, which I believe is how it's called, which is uh, a pretty nice looking Aston Martin, which we haven't really had any in a while. But we did, we are getting the uh, Aston Martin Victor, which was uh, shown in the trailer and also on the news wire from Rockstar. But I think this is a nice and kind of similar looking to the Valkyrie in real life or the uh, Wagner in GTA. It looks kind of similar to that, but overall still looks pretty different and it's a very nice looking car. My third pick is the a new Overflawed, which would be in GTA, or in real life, the Koenigsegg uh, Gamera, I believe is what's called. It's actually supposed to be like a Koenigsegg's uh, family car in real life. So it's actually, you could probably fit four people, so therefore we would have like our first four-door or four-seating supercar in the game, which would be really cool because now you could have, you know, a supercar with everybody in it at once. And I overall like the uh, design of this car, and we haven't had an overflot in GTA since the XXR, which was like two or three years ago. This one, it's the uh, 570S in real life. Now, they do have the P1, which is the T20, which is fairly similar to this because all of McLaren's cars are pretty similar to each other, except for their extremely high-end hypercars like the Speed Tail and the Senna. Which both of those cars, or no, the Senna is in the game, but the Speed Tail, I didn't put that in this video just because. But that's uh, still not in GTA yet, but I think it'd be nice to get a new McLaren in the game since it's been a while. And then this one right here is the CLK GTR, which is a old 90s, I believe, Mercedes-Benz supercar. It's a, it was a very track heavy based, and overall I'm surprised that this car isn't in GTA already, because it has a very classic design to it and I feel like it's something that could honestly been in the game since the launch but I think this would be a great time and a good update to finally add this car in but now to move on to my sports cars next are my sports cars as I said and I only have three of these because most of them are really supercars but here we go so the first one I have is a another M car as in the tuners DLC we had the I think it was the M2 or something like that two-door coupe which you actually see me editing in the background of this video or customizing but I think this would be a really good fit because I like the M cars in real life and to get our good four-door sedan that they usually, they always add one four-door sedan that's like a high-end sports car in the game each update and I feel like this would be a good time to add this into the game with this update as it's a very high-end vehicle in real life and would fit in the update category very well. So this is, you might be confused why I have this in the sports class, but it kind of looks, and some people might think that this is the RSX, but the RSX in real life is the uh, SF90 Stradale, and this is the 488 uh, Pista, 
which they are very similar looking vehicles, but they are also very different. If you look at them, like the hood here has a big uh, gap or intake as aerodynamics reasons. And that would be nice to add into the game. And this is a car that I've kind of been wanting since the uh, Furry was added back with the Casino Heist DLC. But overall, very nice. A uh, new Ferrari would be great to add. Last, I have this Volvo Polestar, which is a new electric type of a sports car. And I think it would be great to add this because Volvo doesn't really have like any cars in GTA. And I think this is a very clean and simple design and would look nice if you can get, get modified modifications in GTA for it and just be a fun car to have because it seems like, like Rockstar likes to add new electric cars here and there every update which has been going on since probably about maybe 2017 with the Doomsday Heist but those are my three sports cars and some of my other cars I have for this list could also fit in this category but I don't want to put everything in sports class considering that the tuners DLC that we just had I think nearly every vehicle was put into the sports class except for the what was it called? It was the old the coupe. It was the kit oh the uh, Karen something I can remember the name of it. But that's the reason I don't have very many sports cars in this. And this is really more about the supercars that I showed earlier in the video. But for my next pick, I have some my uh, only muscle car. All right, so for my muscle car, I have the uh, Dodge Charger Hellcat or Red Eye, whichever one really doesn't matter to me. All I want them to do is just add the new charger because since Franklin's make a return in new, the new update and he's going to be, you know, a major contact in this update. And in story mode, he had the Buffalo, which is, you know, a car that you use a lot in that game in story mode. And it'd be nice to see a return with a, you know, new revamp where they could maybe name this thing the uh, Bravado Buffalo something, maybe the Buffalo Hellfire Buffalo track edition i don't know what they would do maybe buffalo something who knows but i think it would just definitely be underneath the name of buffalo and it would be nice to see this car because very many people in the community have been wanting this thing and it's a very interface very one car and i was actually expecting a last update but it didn't come out with the last update which is fine because now is another great opportunity for it to, to hopefully come in this update and probably uh very very many people want this vehicle and have been wanting it for multiple years by now. And it'd be great to see it in the game. And then now for my only pick for the sedans class, or hopefully it would be put into sedans. It could possibly be in sports class, and it could possibly be in. It would probably really only be in sports or sedans, but my pick is a Audi RSX or RS6. Avian, which is a you know as you can see here it's kind of like a wagon style to it but it's a four-door vehicle and it's an audi which would in gta would be an obey which there's been new obey at cars added within the recent years back in 2019 with the casino update we got the rs5 and then just with the tuners dlc we got the rs3 so it'd be nice to see an rs6 uh, because this is different from both of those and it'd be great because obey is kind of a shortly uh, lived or doesn't have very many vehicles in GTA. There's really just only about maybe three or four main vehicles. And I think this would fit well because as you can see, it's a kind of a high-end car and it has basically the capability of holding four people is another main reason why I really like it in the game. And this would be overall a decent vehicle to add because there's no other sports or performance versions of a wagon in the game currently, or even really any wagons at all other than just the street vehicles that you can find, but no one really cares about that stuff because they're just garbage, slow, and you can't really customize them at all. And there's no point of keeping any of them. But there, that would be the, really kind of the first wagon in the game and would actually bring kind of a cool aspect and it would be overall a fun vehicle to add. But those are my uh, 10 new vehicles that I predict to be in the new update. I'm hoping for at least two or three of them to be in the game. I'm definitely expecting the uh, the new Koenigsegg. I'm really expecting a new one. They might add the Koenigsegg Jesco, which is a two-door, two-seater car, which is a very fast car and probably has more attention than the uh, Gamera that I show in this video. But as long as one of those two or maybe even both vehicles get added to the game, I think that would be a pretty good uh, idea. I'm expecting the Charger, 
because that's just been a very wanted community vehicle, and especially with the return of Franklin, it would be a missed opportunity not to add it. And then probably maybe the BMW that I showed, I think that would be another great option for them to do something very similar to that. But overall, those are my picks, and we'll just have to wait and see what comes out with the update. I'm overall expecting probably around 18-ish, 18 to 20 vehicles in the game. So far, we've seen about maybe like six or seven or so, and announced with the trailer and whatnot. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.